Hi everyone, I'm Allison and you're watching Long Island Thrifter. Today, I'm heading to American Thrift in Baldwin, New York. So let's go thrifting.
witchcraft. It was a madhouse. I have mask face. Um, it was kind of nuts in there uh, because it is Wednesday and Wednesday is Senior Citizen Day. And it's 50 or over. And I get I get money off on certain tag colors for, for that. And I was pleasantly surprised when I was carded, asking to make sure that I was 50, over 50, <laughs> which was kind of funny. Anyway, um, I'm gonna head home and look at the haul and uh, this might go into tomorrow because I'm tired. Anyway. So the first thing I did yesterday when I got home was sat down and just put everything into my thrifter, picker, reseller expenses book. I made this actually for myself, um, they're on Amazon. So I'll put the link down uh, below. Um, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And it's true, right? But this helps me um, because a lot of times the receipts just don't tell you what it is. It's just glassware or kitchenware or clothing or something. Uh, so then th that way I put down the date and um, what the item is and how much I spent. So I've done that. I spent about $30 altogether on six items, and uh, that includes four glasses. Uh, so uh, the glassware was considered one item, but they were a dollar each. And uh, yeah, so let's look at what I can make out of all of this. Here are two beautiful salt and pepper shakers that I picked up. Um, they're pretty heavy uh, and they're really pretty vibrant red, um, made by a company called Hall China Company of East Liverpool, Ohio. They were in business from around, I think 1913 till about 2020. So they obviously went out when the pandemic started. Um, but these, someone has a pair of these up for $119. Now, sold comps show that there was one that just, a pair that just sold for $50. So I'm going to probably go in the $50 to $60 range when I put these up. And one has the original cork with it and the other one doesn't, but that doesn't seem to matter. Uh, this is more of a collector's piece. The other things I have picked up, I love these. I found a set of four of these etched uh, glasses, beer mugs. Um, it's got a sandpiper holding a uh, golf club and then a golf ball imprinted on the bottom. And they're kind of weighty. They're over a pound and a half each. So uh, pretty nice, sturdy, quality glass mugs. And I found four of them. They were a dollar each, so I couldn't pass those up. I sell the glasses pretty well. Um, I don't know if that's like the niche area I want to go into or not, but because the packing obviously is pretty nerve wracking every time you do it and you just pray that it gets to the, <laughs> to the buyer in one piece. The next item I found was this, uh, this water pitcher. Um, turns out it's by a company called, um, I gotta put my glasses off of this. It's from a company called Volrath. Um, and what I'm seeing is it's it was made during World War II um, and they were used in military hospitals. But the prices run around $25 to $40 for these uh, in good condition. This one has some dings from use um, at the bottom, which is you know considered normal, I would think, considering it's from uh, the 1940s. One of the items that I definitely put back was the uh, snowflake pattern Pyrex bowl, the large one. It was $7.99, there was no sale on it. Um, and I have a bunch of Pyrex already that's not moving. So I just kind of said, I'm leaving it. Someone else can take this. I just, it's just not gonna, not, I'm not gonna do it this time. I found this Stanford University sweatshirt. Um, it's in pretty good condition. There's on one of the sleeves, there were a couple small pulls, uh, but I think overall, this was a good deal. It, it was half price for the blue sticker, I think. Uh, so it was $3. I have to double, or it was 25% off. I think that was it. So 25% off and it was $6. So you do the math. <laughs> um, this sweatshirt, is a Tommy Hilfiger, extra large. 
This is in really good condition. Um, and this was marked $6.99. So again, I think there was 25% off that. And I think this is a good deal. It's a good, really nice quality sweatshirt. And my final item, I, you know, this is the second time I picked up um, uh, some beautiful hand knitted blankets. And the other one I haven't sold yet, but I just bought that about two weeks ago. Uh, and I, I'll see if I can show you a picture of that one. Uh, but this one, I just thought the, the knitting was beautiful on it. And it's a beautiful uh, pastel pink, yellow, blue uh, colors and a really pretty stitch. Um, so I'm going to wash all the clothing and the blanket and try and do some of the, and do some pictures today and try and get this stuff up. I've already, um, cleaned off. I put the glasses in the dishwasher. They were fine. No problem with that. Um, been cleaning down these salt and pepper shakers. Um, it took quite a bit of effort to try and take the, um, black magic marker that they put on this rough, you know, the, the porcelain bottom, which I was like, why do you keep doing this stuff, people? But uh, with a little elbow grease, you can, it's hard, you can hardly see it. You may be able to see that, I'm not sure. Yeah, I can see it from here. Um, I'll have to keep working on that. Uh, but all in all, I think a pretty good haul. I, I did put back a bunch of things. I had the, a Bible set, um, it was, it was beautiful. It was a Bible in a box, gorgeous thing. I saw prices around 15 to $20 for it to sell, but this was already, I think $6 to begin with. So I just, again, put things back. I put everything into my basket and then I go into the corner of the store and I just start going through Google lens and eBay pricing. And if it doesn't look like it's going to be a big thing, then I am just going to put it back. So I, I was happy I did that with several items. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get to it and that's it. Here's the most unusual item that sold this week. Um, a box of unopened Kotex regular feminine napkins from the mid 1970s and I bought them for $4.99 and they just sold about after three weeks of being listed for $50. Thanks for watching Long Island Thrifter. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button and if so inclined, please subscribe. See you next time and keep on thrifting.